Are lithium batteries actually dangerous from Minkota trolling motors? Let's find out. destroy this Minn Kota trolling motor by running it at full speed from a lithium battery for a prolonged period of time. A few months ago, I bought this Minn Kota Endura 30 trolling motor. Shortly afterwards, I got the Rododio battery. I've made videos about the battery and I've made videos about the trolling motor and repeatedly this comment keeps coming up. That you can't use these trolling motors with a lithium iron phosphate battery, that it's bad to do so. So I'm on the Minn Kota website right now. And this is from a blog called Lithium Trolling Motor Batteries, Advantages and Compatibility. This is from January 18th of 2022. It lists a whole bunch of information on here. What makes them different? Are they worth the extra money? Are lithium trolling motor batteries worth it? Longer run times, faster charge, longer lifespan. And then there's a section called, Can my Minn Kota trolling motor run on lithium batteries? And they state, the short answer is yes. Minn Kota trolling motors can run on lithium ion batteries. Now they mention lithium ion, and then there's now also lithium iron phosphate. So there's a lot of things that have changed in the chemistry of this stuff. And this is where YouTuber Monster Man showed me something. And I do appreciate when people help teach me things. Can run on lithium ion batteries is all in bold, but it's also a link. And when I hover over it and I click that link, it takes me to a page from another article that was updated according to this one month ago. And there is specific information about brushed motors. The Endura has a brushed motor and it says using lithium batteries with brushed motors. Lithium batteries sustain higher voltage levels over extended periods, which can be too powerful for motors designed specifically for flooded lead acid batteries. Running the motor at maximum speed with lithium batteries can result in damage. To avoid this, it is recommended to limit the motor speed to 85% or speed 8.5 or lower. If Minn Kota has a stance that I should not run this motor above 85% power with a lithium battery, that should be a sticker on the motor. It should be written in the manual. It should be everywhere, because if that's a problem, that should be in front of the consumer, don't you believe? However, when I purchased this motor, there was nothing on the box that said that. There was nothing on the motor that said that. Warning, when tilting motor, keep fingers clear of all hinges and pivot points and all moving parts. Perhaps when Minn Kota wrote this article, they had yet to try out one of these batteries that say that they're made for trolling motors. Or, in fact, this is 100% correct. And if this is correct, this shouldn't be buried deep within Minn Kota's information. I have another camera set up here on the floor. It's right down here. This camera is doing time-lapse recording of that. So that way, if I leave the room and anything happens, when things shut off or whatever, I catch it. It's feeling pretty warm up here right now. For some of you who think that lithium iron phosphate batteries cost thousands of dollars, some do. I have some that cost thousands of dollars that are 48 volt batteries, but your 12 volt, 100 amp hour trolling motor batteries are at the moment about 200 and some odd dollars. 
for a decent one like the Redodio brand. I have links to that in the video description if you'd like to get a discount and buy a Redodio one. Let's go back to the garage and check on the trolling motor and see how it's doing running out here in the garage. It's still going. This has just been sitting here running at speed five now for quite a while. While we're waiting to see what happens with this, be sure to like this video if you like it, and also be sure to subscribe if you like the content that I'm making. Oh, and if you're wondering, yes, this is that trolling motor that I got with the bad prop on it, where it was making a thunking noise when I first got it. Minn Kota, brand new, 30 pound of thrust, Endura. And uh, I just opened this up the other day. Let's, uh, let's let her rip here. Let's turn ourselves around. Can you hear that? I don't know why it's sounding like that. So all I did was sand down that prop a little bit to get the burrs off of it, and it seems to have smoothed it out pretty good. If it holds up with all of this abuse, I think that says something for Minn Kota. If it fails, I think Minn Kota needs to make sure that they're letting people know not to use lithium iron phosphate batteries with their motors. If the owner's manual, the packaging, and the box doesn't say anything about it and doesn't warn me about it on the product, I think that's a distinct problem because I could inadvertently ruin a trolling motor by running it off of the wrong type of battery. All right, so it's almost two hours into this test. This thing's still running just fine and going strong. And I actually checked with my friend Aliex to see, hey, have you had any experience with a Minn Kota motor failing because of a lithium iron phosphate battery? And here's what he had to say about it. So, is it true that if you run your trolling motor at maximum speed, with a lithium battery that is gonna burn it out. Well, if you run it for 7,000 years, maybe. <laughs> so look, I've been fishing out of my autopilot 120 and 136 for years using the same trolling motor. I even run it maximum speed, non-stop, till the battery drain out one time. It was over 13 miles. And that was 2020. And the motor still working today. Granted, many of you do not have your trolling motor running at speed five for this long. Maybe you do. But if it causes problems, if it ruins this motor, I want to see it happen to mine. And nothing goes wrong with this motor. I don't know, have I proved that it's okay, that it's safe? This particular battery is designed for trolling motors. And according to the front of the battery, it says it's 12.8 volts. All right, right now it's showing 13.0 volts. Maybe Minn Kota is just trying to cover their ass here. And if so, that's okay. But if they think this really is a problem, running this at full speed with that kind of battery, and they've seen that it's a problem, then they should be putting that everywhere. They should be putting stickers on the motors. It should be on the box. It should be on the first page of the website because Lithium iron phosphate batteries are here and more people are using them. And if Minn Kota, if you disagree with me, you better start making sure you let everybody know that. Because otherwise, people are gonna start ruining these motors and blaming you. Maybe over time, maybe it'll cause some damage. But right now, I'm seeing no problem with this. And I know people don't usually run at speed five all the time. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are because I don't see this as being any kind of potential risk. Maybe different ones have different problems. I'm not sure. I just don't like the mixed signals that we get on this stuff. So, I'm just gonna keep on trying this. I don't think we're gonna get any results in this video. 